This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 210, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I kind of speak to Boom Boom Cannon about animals in your anus in your ass in your bum whatever you want to say um but before we get to our conversation um i do have a couple of things to talk to you about because today is a very special day as membership to the rock and roll english family is now officially open again remember it only happens a couple of times a year so to celebrate this wonderful special day i have a present for you well actually i Suppose two. You know what? I've got three. I've got three presents for you to celebrate this special day. So sit tightly and I will tell you what they are. So, yes, this Rock and Roll English family membership is only open for 10 days. Okay, so it will close next Wednesday. So you may be saying, what is the Rock and Roll English family? Well, the answer to that question is lots of things, but I'm not going to bore you with the details here, okay? You can find out all of that information on the website. Today, I just want to focus on the podcast, okay? Because by becoming a member to the Rock and Roll English family, you will get access to more than 600 episodes of Rock and Roll English. 600 episodes that you have not listened to of this podcast all with a transcript as well that you can read obviously that's generally what you do with transcripts isn't it you read them um so yes as i mentioned i want to focus on the podcast today and the difference between this normal monday podcast and the family podcast because they are two different things my friend the main difference being that the family podcast is more personal. I talk about more personal things. I say things that I don't want to say in public, let's say, because this Monday podcast, anyone can listen to, can't they? But to listen to the family podcast, you need to be a member. And I know only a specific few people listen to that podcast. So to demonstrate this difference of the family podcast being more personal, I have a special present for you, okay? This is present number one, okay? The big one. It's like Christmas Day, let's say. Um, You know, you get like a big present when you're a child and then you get some little presents. This is the big one, okay? So I have created another podcast for you, okay? With lots of different bits from podcasts to demonstrate the difference between the Monday podcast and the family podcast. You may be asking why I am not playing you the podcast here. The answer to that question is because I don't want to mention some of these things in public, as I mentioned. So I want you to go and find it, which you can find at rockandrollenglish.com slash special, which is the show notes to this episode. The reason I'm doing this is because I know most of you won't do that because you have to go to the website and you have to listen to the podcast on the website. So that podcast that demonstrates the difference between the family podcast and the Monday podcast will remain a secret to some degree, because I know only about 10% of you will actually go and listen to that podcast. But if you are in that 10% of people, okay, I have created a podcast especially for you where I have taken clips from various different family podcasts where I speak about expired condoms, being at home without your parents, an embarrassing story at work, and a story about what I really thought about the language influencer seminar that I went to last year. But for the people that won't go to the website, which I know is most of you, I have something for you as well, okay? This is present number two. Because of these 600 episodes in the family area, 
I don't know, about 40, 50, contain an analysis, let's call it, of a crazy news story. Because, you know, we don't want to talk about real news, do we? Because that's not interesting. So we spoke about crazy news stories. And these, you know, are not too embarrassing. These are okay to be on the Monday episode. So here I have an episode of the Rock and Roll English family podcast for you to listen to when I spoke to Boom Boom Cannon about a crazy news story. Okay, so here is the present. But before you listen, notice how my voice has changed. This episode is from about two years ago and I do speak like I have some kind of mental problem. But luckily, I think that problem has gone away now and I can speak normally, which is always good. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Here is the conversation. Happy listening. And it's Wednesday. So on Wednesdays, we like to talk about these crazy news stories. Um, So I have a news story. Not the most normal in the world, but I thought we could just talk about it. Boom, boom. Yep, let's do it. Keen, keen to hear it. Okay, so oh no, notice they said keen. Like I'm interested to hear it. Um, so I read the first sentence of the article. A man from New Hampshire in America, always in America. That's what we say in Britain. All of these crazy <laughs> things they always happen in America. So a man from New Hampshire had to be transported to hospital this afternoon. After his pet squirrel, which is uh, an animal you often see them in Britain, it's difficult to describe. If you don't know, look on the website. So had to be transported to hospital after his pet squirrel got stuck in his anal <laughs> cavity. So basically, his ass. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yeah, absolutely. who doesn't, you know, at least one time in their life get a squirrel stuck up their ass? Funnily, funnily enough, as soon as you sort of started talking about this guy and his pet squirrel, I just, I've not heard this story. I just had a feeling. <laughs> I bet that squirrel's going up his ass. <laughs> if I know Martin, like I think I do, <laughs> that squirrel is going up this guy's ass. Where else could it go? Um, so apparently the operator that took the call, um, like the emergency call, thought it was a joke. Um, they said he told me that he had fallen on his pet squirrel named Slimy. Um, so the name Slimy, well, is it something of slime? Is sort of I don't know. How could we describe that? Boom. boom. Um, I was going to say goo, gooey, but that's yeah. probably also just as hard to uh, to explain. Uh, just a kind of uh, sticky, liquidy substance. Yeah. So even the name, if you're calling your uh, <laughs> Squirrel Slimy. I'm already thinking, mm, I, I don't know about this. So Slimy um, was now stuck in his anus and he said, I was convinced it was a teenager making a prank call. Some rock and roll vocabulary there. What's a prank call, Boom Boom? Prank. It's it's kind of a, a joke that you play on someone uh, to trick them. Yeah, exactly. So in this case, a prank call, something that's not actually true. And apparently when they arrived there, he was in his bathroom completely naked and the squirrel was just in there basically just destroying his ass. My question is, how did it get there? Um, Which the man says that he was just walking around and then he fell over and then the squ- when he fell over, he landed on the squirrel and then it just went up his ass. <laughs> And I thought, yeah, is that true, though? Is that true? You have to fall very perfectly. Really? And even if I fell on a squirrel, I would imagine it would just sort of squash the squirrel. Um, so when I say squash, like, it, well, I don't know, could even kill the squirrel. Like you squash like a mosquito, for example. Um, I very much doubt it would enter I mean, your arsehole if you fell on it. it. I can't. Yeah, the squirrel would have to be kind of ready and <laughs> poised just to head up the arse. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Must be jumping up there. Notice he said poised there, which basically is another way to say to be in a ready state to do something. Exactly. So he must have been ready to jump straight in there. Um, and another thing I thought, well, I don't really and I've never really had pets is do you walk around naked with a pet? Well, the only pet I had was my rabbit Gizmo. God rest his soul. He died in, I don't know, probably 97 <laughs> terrible day for me Let, anyway let's let's move on keep yeah. <laughs> move on before i get emotional um the rabbit generally lived in the garden though so i didn't really walk around naked but i know you've had a dog uh, yeah in your, did you ever spend much time with your dog naked um i should probably be careful what i say here because it could sound a bit weird but I, I would say i was you know i was relaxed around the dog let's put it that way <laughs> 
Yes, that, I would feel very uncomfortable around any animal naked because they could just jump at any moment. I could fall over and then it could end up in my ass. There's, there's just so many, so many different things that could happen. Yeah, I mean, I was relatively confident that with Oscar, my old dog, that there was no kind of ass possibility of him <laughs> heading for the ass. So I was, if I was naked, I was naked. You know, it was fine. Um, Apparently, though, this is not such an sort of unusual thing because um, animals are often found in arses, apparently. And the animals that are most commonly found in arses are fish, snakes, mice. Notice they're mice, which is the plural of mouse. It's an irregular noun. Um, so fish, snakes, mice or rats um, and obviously squirrels. And I thought of these animals, Boom Boom, which one would you prefer to have in your ass? So, if you so had to, obviously. If, fish, snake, snake, mice or rat. Uh, I'm going to, can I say like a small fish, like a goldfish? <laughs> I feel like that's going to do the least, <laughs> be the least painful. Yeah. You don't want like a whale in there, do no. you? Like a, no. <laughs> small, slippery. Um, yeah, I'll say goldfish. Uh, yeah slippery is a nice word as well we actually use this for like when you're outside the ground can be slippery and you fall over yeah um good choice though. i think i think that's what i would so go you, for you're gonna go fish as well yeah, yeah. got it's got to be something as you said the smaller the better okay <laughs> just get it in there and get it out <laughs> as soon as possible um and if anyone else wants to let us know what animal they would like up their ass obviously please let us know we do want to know we are interested definitely we, keen Boo? definitely keen to hear that yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely keen on that one okay and just remember people if you are naked around an animal don't fall down because that animal well you know what can happen okay stay safe stay safe people S stay safe we're trying to educate you here as well okay we're trying to educate educate you on english and how to not get things in your ass okay um, anyway, Boom Boom, thanks a lot for your time thanks martin cheers we'll see we'll see you again soon yep. i'll see you all again tomorrow in the meantime, just keep on rocking, people. Okay, so that was Boom Boom Cannon and me speaking about a crazy news story. So if you enjoyed that episode, go to rockandrollenglish.com slash special where you can get the big present, the number one present, the PlayStation, let's call it. And if you go to rockandrollenglish.com slash special, you will also find a transcript to this episode. That's present number three. Um, but presents number two and three are, you know, just the small things. It's like I mentioned at Christmas, you get a PlayStation. That's the big one. That's present number one. And then you get, you know, socks, some shower gel and this kind of stuff. That's present number two and number three. So, yes, I suggest that you go to rockandrollenglish.com slash special and listen to the other podcast, the big present that I have made for you. I will speak to you all again soon, people. But if you have any questions about the family or anything like that, please send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, send me an email and I will be happy to answer you. I will see you all again in two weeks. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby. Thanks so much for listening to Rock and Roll English. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rockandrollenglish. We'll catch you next time.